Um, next up, we have Glenn. Uh, Glenn, if you could uh, take a, take the quote unquote stage. Um, thank you, and and thank you especially to Safia. That was just um, such a beautiful uh, reflection, and and uh, so fitting with what what I want to add to it. So I'm a white man uh, in a nautically themed bedroom, wearing a Star of David in front of a uh, bed, which is bedecked with some dolls uh, who are great thinkers of all time, like Frida Kahlo and Ada Lovelace. Um, and I want to build on uh, Safia's imaginative experiments by um, just some provocations of what we might hope for in a future. So I want to invite us to imagine a future where our social, political, and economic institutions evolve as much as our technologies do, um, where they keep pace with the change in our technologies. Um, Albert Einstein once said that, uh, he's back there among my dolls as well, that uh, we, if our social institutions had kept pace with our technologies, we'd all have carefree and peaceful lives, but that as it is, we've given razor blades to three-year-old children. Um, but it doesn't have to be that way. We've invented labor unions. We've invented uh, democracy. We can invent new social and political economic governance institutions as radical as the technologies we create. Um, I want to invite us to imagine a future where markets and democracies, rather than being opposing opposites, are like yin and yang where every time we see new market power emerging, new uh, corporations, uh, concentrations of wealth and power, that those are become new sites of de democratization, the same way that monarchies were democratized. Uh, and at the same time that every sort of homogenization or concentration of power within some uh, democratic force, some state, is immediately diffused by the flexibility, the choice, the dynamism, the efficiency, the speed that we associate uh, with markets. I want us to imagine a future where corporations and governments fade behind an emergent civil and social society that is supported by those institutions, but not overshadowed by them, where the center of the services that we consume comes from the sort of uh, uh, social life um, that is, you know, comes out of our uh, relations rather than out of the power relations that exist within uh, corporate private property or uh, government uh, coercion. Uh, and to make those imaginings a bit more concrete, I just want to flesh out what that might look like. So imagine a world where taxes were distributed as not by sort of central bureaucracies, but rather as um, matching funds for crowdsourcing, but matching funds built on a democratic principle where more people with small contributions got much more match than uh, a few people making large contributions. Um, or a world where rather than artificial intelligence doing things for us, learning on our data and helping us, imagine a future where the core role of those types of technologies was to facilitate um, the deliberation that we all know is core to democracy and that is so important in small groups, but to allow that sort of consensus building deliberation to occur uh, at scale uh, with millions of people participating. I want us to imagine a future where wealth taxation is viewed as the foundation of a free market, where what makes markets work, what makes them dynamic, uh, is precisely the decay of existing structures of power through uh, high rates of wealth taxation and where those who most favor the free market are also those pushing for the highest rates of wealth taxation. Um, 
Does that sound strange? Does that sound unusual? Do those all sound like radical futures? Well, they're futures that are actually here um, in places like Estonia, um, in places like Colorado, in places in you know pockets uh, of the internet economy like Wikipedia uh, and uh, some of the platforms within certain parts of the blockchain world, which like Sophia, I agree, blockchain as a technology itself is not uh, particularly exciting, but the social institutions that have emerged within it in certain pockets are, I think, quite interesting. Um, and most exciting, uh, I think, is what's happening in Taiwan. I think that's uh, probably the most powerful image of what a future like this might be. And uh, we have the honor to hear from Audrey Tong telling us about what that's like. Um, and as we do, I hope people will just focus on where are these better futures emerging? Uh, it's wonderful to criticize all of the horrors that are going on in China and the United States, but there are actually places out there that are building real participatory digital democracies that help us reimagine things. And I hope that we can look to those images um, and not just either science fiction or uh, the dystopias we're living in um, for inspiration. Thank you. All right, Glenn, thank you so much. A round of applause for Glenn. You can unmute if you like. Thank you, Glenn.